In a cafe, a man and a woman who have finished discussing a document are about to leave. We're looking forward to working with you, says the man, taking an envelope from his jacket and pushing it across the table. What's this? asks the woman, who seems to be a government official. Oh, just a thank you gift, beams the man. Peeking inside the envelope, the woman sees it stuffed with cash. I can't accept this, she replies. That's not how we do business here. Offering money as portrayed in the dialogue would be similarly disapproved of in many other countries. In English, bribery is the blanket word which labels such incidents and has negative associations with dishonesty and corruption. Nevertheless, the practice is still accepted or even expected elsewhere. In contrast to English, some other languages employ words and expressions for bribery which reflect different cultural attitudes. These would be translated into phrases such as giving a token of appreciation or donating oiling money. Hence, the businessman above might quite naturally believe his gift would be helpful in negotiating the deal more smoothly, supposedly creating a win win situation. For example, he might be paying the government official to grant the request for manufacturing a useful product which was not allowed in her country. The businessman's company would make it and then sell it to customers, who also get hold of something they want. In the middle, The government official would regard the bribe as a bonus for services provided. In cultures such as the businessmen's, the action may even be considered to benefit the broader community, which establishes and cements relationships in many other social situations. For instance, desperate parents of a seriously ill child might try to please the attending physician in advance of medical treatment. The doctor receiving the token of appreciation will often pay extra attention to the case. While at the same time neither neglecting other patients of his or hers nor troubling his or her conscience. Nowadays, most cultures object to the practice of bribery for both moral and practical reasons. More and more countries are forbidding bribery because they claim it is like a social virus that causes the decay of social welfare. In business, to be exact, a bribe is sharp practice. Giving a company an unfair advantage over competitors which might be more reliable for the same deal or contract. Whether this company is the best choice on merit or not, the receiver of the bribe is more likely to take up its offer. In the same way, this ethic applies to other areas, such as the medical practice mentioned above. In countries where there are severe shortages of doctors, a bribe may make the difference to getting treated or receiving no medical care at all. Despite the efforts to control it, the practice of bribery has never stopped. On the contrary, it still flourishes in various cultures. Workers, such as civil servants, police officers, and medical staff, are sometimes badly paid and are tempted to take bribes to make a better living. In fact, in some parts of the world, many such workers cannot survive without receiving tokens of appreciation. Thus, if you do business or require a service in these regions, you may face a dilemma. Should you be culturally sensitive and participate in bribery?